Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing how to create this type of options box in your app. You can use this to showcase more options, shopping cart, and much more. So without further ado, let's get started. So now I have blank canvas in here. Let's start by adding a new page to our app. Let's go with this one and create a page. Now we can delete the home page and start to edit this one. First step, what we want to do is go to our most top element in here and wrap it inside of a stack. Then inside the stack, let's add container. Perfect. Now we need to position the container where we want it. I'm going to add it in here. Then let's make this a bit wider. This is good. Then inside the container, we want to add column. Inside the column, let's add row. And inside the row, let's add some text. Then click on the row and center the text. Also add some padding to this row. Then type some text in here. I'm going with show more. Then let's add a little bit more padding. Perfect. Now we can add divider in here so it looks better. Then we can copy and paste these elements so we have more options in here. Let's switch this text to send message. Now click on the column, add some padding around it. Then we can remove the height of this container. Now when this happens, you need to click the column again. And click here so it doesn't expand the container. Also let's make these edges more round so it looks better. Okay, that's perfect but we can do a little better. Let's add icons to the row as well. For this tutorial, I'm just going to pick random icons. Then let's take a copy of this icon and paste it in here. Also, let's swap this to something else. Okay, great. Now click away from the page. Then click on page state variable. Add field. Let's name this as box is open and type will be boolean and default value will be false. Then confirm. Then click on this container and add conditional visibility to it. Choose single condition. Then page state box is open is equal to true and then confirm. Now click on this icon button and add action to it. The action will be update page state, then add a field and select our page state variable. An update type will be toggle value. Then click on this container and click this play button in here to add animation to it. Switch this to on action trigger. Then you can try out different methods in here. Now that we have found good animation for our app, let's click the icon button to add rotation to it. Again, click this play button. Switch this to on action trigger and add your rotate animation in here. Okay, great. Now when we are done with that step, click on the icon button once more and start to edit the action. Add conditional action in here. Choose our page state variable. 
then add action to the false side. This will be widget animation. Then choose the widget. Then we can take a copy of this and paste it in here. Then switch this to the other widget. Also turn on the non-blocking for both of these actions. Then take a copy of this action chain and paste it to the true side. Then enable the reverse animation for both of these actions. And I just realized that I made a tiny mistake. Let's add new action in here. Move it up. Action will be update page state. Add our field in here. Because this action gets triggered if the state is false, we need to switch this to true. Then take a copy of this action, paste it to true side. Move it up a bit. Remove the first toggle action, because we will not be needing it. And switch this action to false. Then we can finally try out our app. Now, when our app is done loading, if we click this icon button, it opens up the selection, and if we click it again, it closes it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe for more similar content, and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.